Hi, in this series of videos I want to look at this particular simple part but model it in a few different ways. Okay, the first way I want to do it is strictly using a couple sketches and to model this base part and this extrusion out here. And we'll I'll be mentioning things about what I'm doing as I move along here. Alright, so I'm going to sketch on the front plane and let's look at the front plane and what I want to do is sketch this one two three four by one two three four so this is four by four rectangle over here so I'm going to select the rectangle and I'm going to let the square be, be caught such that I get the L1 L1 um, constraints so that it's only going to be controlled by one dimension I'll double click on this dimension make it four and of course I have to refit my screen and once I've done that I'm actually going to turn off my datum planes and my datum axes so I can sort of see what's going on here and once I've done that actually I want to continue looking at that plane because I want to put in this circular feature so I'm going to do that in this case by selecting the circular tool selecting the midpoint that is a selectable point and dragging up to take the secondary point and notice there's only again one to one dimension here because the diameter of the circle is being driven by the fact that it's selected to the midpoint and to one edge of the corner corner of the square so I'm going to come in use the delete segment tool to delete out half the circle and the portion of the square and now I'm going to utilize the circle tool to come in select onto it and again this hole is now going to have a particular diameter in the case of the picture it has a diameter of two so I'll select that in and we can be done with the sketch at this point and I'm going to select extrude and bring it out a distance of two and once that's selected I now have to make this little inverted C shape so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to sketch onto this surface. Again, let's look at the part. And what I want to do now is select a rectangle here, but again, I only need to control it with a single dimension because if I bring it out here, I want to make sure that it's the top surface is coincident with this edge. I do that by selecting on the constraints, selecting on the coincident tool, selecting on the line, and then this edge that makes up uh, the top part of the object that I'm creating. Say OK, and look at this dimension here, and again, I can change this to a dimension of 2, and be, I'll say OK, then I'm done with the sketch, and I want to extrude it out a distance of 2. So again, I'm just going to drag here and bring it out to a distance of 2 and I'll say OK. So now we're mostly done with this part except for this little cutout here and I'm going to use a similar technique that I've just done selecting on this surface and I'm just going to do something slightly different here. I'm going to leave it in the three-dimensional view such that when I select here I want to create a dimension. Let's see whether where the dimensions go and we have a dim dimension one here that works and what I want to do is create a normal dimension from this surface to this surface capturing the design intent I could turn this to two but I just want to make the point here that I can select this edge and this edge but I want to make the point that what I'm actually selecting is this whole face over here so I'll hold down so I'm going to select this face, so now I have the line in the face and click the middle mouse button and make that one. And then we'll make this distance, I'll have to say OK to get out of the normal dimension tool. I'll select this to make it one. And that provides all the information I need for that sketch, so I'll say that I'm done. I want to extrude the part. I'll flip the direction, remove the material, in this case make sure that I go through the entire part and I'll say done. Alright, so that concludes this variation of making the part.